Today we're going to walk through how to connect EMU app to EMU VST. In our case, we're going to use Ableton for that. First of all, drag EMU VST to a MIDI channel. Then, because EMU VST supports up to 514 channels, parameters, and Ableton shows only up to 64, at the same time, we need to press configure, go to EMU app, and select faders that we want to map as a VST. Select first and map it to the first one. You can see that the fader one was added and now we can drag it around and it will be synchronized between app and the VST plugin. If we want to add more channels, we can select several faders and map starting from the second VST parameter and using the range, it will be second and third fader after we press map. So now we have two additional faders. Now we can control three faders from the EMU VST. Now, what if we want to control all the reds in generic fixtures with one fader? To do that, we can select all the red channels, go to VST mapping and map not a range, but all the selected faders to the first VST parameter. Now we have uh, all reds are moved with the fader one. Let's do the same for the green faders. And let's map them to the second VST param. And for the third, it will be a blue. So let's do that. Perfect. Now we have all three main color channels on the three RGB fixtures controlled from the VST. What else can be controlled? So, for example, banks and programs also controlled from the VST. To add them, we need to just change any program or bank. So, as you can see, now we have bank and program selection controlled from the VST. The other thing that is sent from the VST is a tempo sync. So now we can see that we go to 130 and it changes the speed. Also, VST supports the transmission of a quarter information, the bar position in the playback. So give an attention to the oscillators while I'm pressing play. You see they're jumping to a particular position. So all your oscillators are gonna be in sync with your tempo. Now let's try to automate the parameters we met. To do that, let's drag the EMUVST to our drum kit. Here we have 404. So, and the simple pattern that's plays there. What we're gonna do? We're gonna map red faders to a particular automation. and assign them to kicks only. So yeah. Now we can see that reds are hitting for the bus drop. Done. So for the next pattern, we can copy this automation, go to pattern, to and paste done so but now we want to add some green so let's select fader and add some greens on the hi-hats or even better on the claps here are the claps let's play it and yeah now you see that kicks and claps are playing at the same time and synchronized. What else can we do? For example, we can change a program based on a particular, let's remove that and assign program to this one, program one to the first one, 
and program three to the third. Perfect. Now changing the clips, we change the programs at the same time, sending the automation for a particular program.